Hello viewers, today for the cleaning and service, we got the 30 inch unbranded high velocity fan. I've put quite a bit of hours on the fan. This is the second cleaning, but this is the first actual clean and service that we've actually got on the video. So we're gonna start off here by removing the blade off the shaft. So the front guard is already over there, waiting some cleaning. So we got here a standard set screw. This one does fit. One thing I like about these longer set screws is that they are much easier to actually use when it comes to cleaning and servicing these fans. Because a lot of people tell me, oh, it's not good to, you know, use a long hex or a long set screw. But I find using longer Allen keys is probably much easier to do. So we're going to go ahead here and... Uh, Get, get it loose. See here, sometimes these do like to be a pain in the rear end. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see this on the video as we continue to work. So sometimes what we can do too, is we can actually loosen the set screw just enough uh, we, can, we can take the blade off. And as you can see, the blade actually came off really easy this time. Because I have lubricated the shaft. Because um, last time I had to clean and service the fan, we had a bit of a freak show. Um, but yeah, we had gotten the blade off successfully. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the blade over here. Because we have to take everything upstairs to clean it. Because uh, got a bad hot water valve. It's got to go. So we're going to go ahead and put the blade right there for now. Um, we do have a little bit more disassembly to do. So we're going to set you guys down here on the Stilton Beauty. While we go ahead and get our mechanics tools. And uh, we do a little bit of further disassembly. So as you guys can see here, we got all my mechanics tools ready to start. And it looks like here we do have some machine screws that we are going to have to remove. So we're going to pick a fitting that fits these bolts. So we're going to try this one. Now it looks like this one, this one doesn't quite completely fit. So we are going to have to go up size. Oh, a little too big. And really with this, it's like a game of cat and mouse. You have to figure out what's going to work best for you. And there we go. We got a fitting that fits. So we're going to set you guys down again while we get our wrench. So we're going to go ahead here and... Take these bolts off to get the rear guard, get access to the rear guard. So I'll loosen them just like this. Now what you also can do too, is you can also use an impact driver um, if you want to get it to a certain tightness, but just had a little freak show. I don't really recommend using an impact unless you absolutely have to. A lot of people like to just get the job done. But for the sake of the video, we're going to show both methods here. And you do want to be careful, because like I said before, you have to be very cautious about how you do this. As you can see here, the rear guard is 
The rear guard will come off nice and easy for you. We're gonna set these here on the rail for now. So now for this part here, we're gonna have to set you guys down um, because unfortunately we are gonna have to take hold of the rear guard. So now we have gotten the front and rear guard off. So now the fan will be much easier to work on. So we do have a little bit of, we are gonna do a motor check to make sure that the motor is very, fairly well lubricated. Cause this one did receive plenty of lubricant from the factory, but we always wanna double check and make sure that our motor is good. So we're gonna go ahead and test it here. So you guys can see there, the lubricant is actually quite good on this motor. These are actually really good motors. And I definitely give an A+. Plus. And it looks like here we might actually have a ball bearing motor. So if you guys look in the, if you guys look there, I would definitely say this is a ball bearing motor. So we are gonna give it a little bit of oil. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set you guys down again while we grab our oil canister. And for the oiling procedure, especially with these larger fans, it's always a good idea to unplug it. So here, here we go. We're gonna show you guys how to oil this thing. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna have to set you guys down because we have to get it level. So here we go. We got the, we got this all set up here. And what we're gonna do so we're going to go ahead and drip some oil in there. And what we're going to do, we're going to let that soak in. And this is similar to how we oil a general electric box fan. Except with these fans, it's much easier to oil them. Because, uh, you know, our front bearing here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and make sure that this is soaked in. So we're going to go ahead and replug it back in for the for this test. Make sure that the oil is fully in there. Hey guys, can see what I'm doing here is I'm just making sure that the motor has plenty of oil. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna give the motor some load. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and grab the blade and we're gonna put that back on and give the motor a proper test.
So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to grab our set screw. So that way we can get our blade fully on there and get it to the correct tightness for this test. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to grab our hex key, which is what we always use for this job. Now, I do not recommend you guys doing this unless you are really good at cleaning fans. And I've been doing this my whole life, so I've got a, plenty of experience doing this. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our motor back down. And we're going to get you guys back on one. There we go. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tighten this down. Sure. Actually, we're going to make sure this is fully on there. All right. So we should be good for this test. The blade is on. The blade is on nice and tight. Um, we are going to stand back behind the fan for this. So we just want to ensure that the motor is properly lubricated. So we're going to go ahead and lift it up here. And we're going to, going to give her a test. Now, like I said, with these motor tests, I recommend you do it up. And the reason why I'm saying do it like this, that way when you do lubricate it, you'll be able to allow the oil to soak in like we're doing here. And the reason why I like to do it like this is so that way you're not running the motor without the blade. And the major reason why this is so important is so that you don't overheat or damage the motor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a part two to this video where we do the actual cleaning. So this is gonna be part one, which is servicing the fan and making sure the oil gets into the bearings. And then part two of this video is going to be the actual cleaning. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in part two.